In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes you this morning. And as we gather in the presence of the Lord, we offer to the Lord all our worries, all our troubles. We offer to Him everything that holds us back, everything that prevents us from journeying with Him. We place before the Lord all the challenges, all the obstacles that we may face in life. And we ask the Lord to be with us, to accompany us during the most difficult moments of our lives. And today we shall reflect on Psalm 27. We shall read the Psalm, we shall meditate on it. And we shall try to see what we can take from this psalm and make it personal. How the psalm can indeed be a guide for our life and for our actions and activities today. So the psalm 27 goes like this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me, to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foe, they shall stumble and fall. And here we see that today's psalm tells us about the difficulties that we may face in life, the challenges that we may encounter. And we see that when we are committed to the word of God, when we become followers of Jesus, the number of challenges will increase because we see that the gospel values are in opposition to the values that the world propagates. And therefore, these challenges, these uh, persecutions are in a way quite common. And therefore, today's psalm tells us that when our hope is in the Lord, when our trust is in the Lord, there is no reason for us to be afraid. The psalm continues, Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war rise up against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent, He will set me high on a rock. And this in itself should give us hope and confidence that when we are faced with difficulties, when there are trials and temptations, when there are challenges in our lives, the Lord will always be there. He will be there to guide us, to protect us. And more importantly, He will show us the right path. He will indicate to us the necessary action and steps that we need to take in order to help ourselves. The psalm continues, Now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices and shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. And here we see that we need to thank the Lord. We need to praise him for all that he has done for us. Very often, we somehow forget to thank the Lord. We somehow neglect or we don't pay attention to this part. And therefore, we need to tell the Lord, that indeed we are grateful for all that he has done for us because he never abandons us. He's always there watching over us and guiding us in the right possible direction. And the psalm continues, Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You who have been my help, do not cast me off. Do not forsake me. O God of my salvation, if my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Once again, words of encouragement. 
even though those who are very close to us even our near and dear ones even if they betray us even if they deceive us we see that the lord will not do that he will never abandon us and this is a message that is strongly felt not only in the psalms but also in the gospel passages where jesus says that if you remain in the faith and love not even one hair of your body will be touched and therefore this assurance is something that we can always treasure in our hearts and this assurance in itself will give us the strength and the courage to face challenges in life and the psalm continues teach me your way o lord and lead me on a level path because of my enemies do not give me up to the will of my adversaries for false witnesses have risen against me and they are breathing out violence i believe that i shall see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong and let your heart take courage wait for the lord and therefore the psalm ends by telling us to keep our faith and trust in the lord and today as we reflect on this psalm as we meditate on this psalm let us keep these thoughts in mind let us now close our eyes and at this morning hour let us thank the lord let us praise the lord let us glorify the lord for all that he has done for us for all that he is doing and for all that he will continue to do for us in the near future loving father you have given us this time in the morning you have been gracious to us you have given us your son jesus christ who has cleansed us from our sins he has taken away all our sins and he has given us new life lord as you have given us the holy spirit we ask you to bless us and protect us and for this lord we thank you we praise you and we glorify you you have protected us and you have guarded us all through the night you have protected us from all harm from all danger and you have given us this morning hour a time where we can spend with you where we can reflect where we can tell you all our difficulties all our sufferings wherein we can openly share with you everything that prevents us from doing the necessary things in life and lord for all this we ask your grace your blessings on us for your great love and mercy o lord we praise you and we thank you o lord you are merciful o lord you have blessed us in so many ways you protect us o lord and we offer you this day and therefore as we thank the lord as we praise the lord for all that he has done for us let us now spend a few moments in silence reflecting on today's psalm let the psalm speak to us and let us take some things from the psalm and apply it to our lives so that we do may be able to live our lives fully devoted to the lord fully committed always perseverant in the faith
Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Here are the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of January. For educators, we pray that educators may be credible witnesses teaching fraternity rather than competition and helping the youngest and most vulnerable above all. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, Help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them 
with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation christ with me christ before me christ behind me christ in me christ beneath me christ above me christ on my right christ on my left christ when i lie down christ when i sit down christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me christ in the eye that sees me christ in the ear that hears me amen the angelus the angel of the lord declared to mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus Holy Mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through jesus christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers o saint joseph 
I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany to Mary, the Loreto Litany Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, Pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, 
pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint gertrude pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen